Greetings, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to look at corporate creativity. Maishu, arigatouzaimasu, and welcome back to the seventh year of the Leadership Japan series. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, your corporate coaching and training guy committed to your success, the president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan, a bestselling author. Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. My new book, Japan Presentations Mastery, is going to be released shortly. We are broadcasting around the world from Minato-ku in the center of Tokyo, the leadership capital of Japan. Now, this podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan. And trust me, it is different here. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast with your family, friends, and colleagues. We are not being sponsored by Libsyn, but... We value your privacy, which is why we have our podcast hosted by Lipson, who, unlike many other podcast hosts, have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Monday is the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesday is the Presentations Japan Series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Tatsujin no Oshie Show. Wednesday is the Sales Japan Series. Thursday is the Leadership Japan Series. And every second Thursday, the Business of Pro Podcast Show. Friday is the Japan Business Mastery Show. And Saturday is Japan's top business interviews. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is Shiteru. Do you know this? Do you know about this? Shiteru. Did you hear about this? Shiteru. Do you know about this? Shiteru. Shiteru. This is very casual Japanese. This is really, really casual Japanese. Never use this with a client. But、uh, do you know about something you can just say, shteru? 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 Have you heard about this? Shteru? Shteru? Did you, did you find out about this? Shteru? Shteru? This is episode number 422, 422. Today we're talking about how to enhance corporate creativity. Innovation. Is not the monopoly of the RD department. Every one of our staff have highly tuned antennae which pick up valuable commercial intelligence about consumer trends, supplier data, and client feedback. Just because they are not wearing white lab coats doesn't mean their insight should be ignored. Yet that is what we do in most companies. Innovation is the application of creative ideas into practical products and services. The germ of the idea is where the creativity component comes in, and this is available to anyone. The journey from creative idea to idea application treads a path which transcends the scope of one individual. This is where the wheels fall off, and most companies cannot capitalize on the latent creativity inside their firms. Our recent global survey on creative ideas at work uncovered some disturbing findings. Given the intense competition in the marketplace for companies, you would expect that leaders would be doing all they could to seize and shepherd creative ideas through to application. Yet, the survey showed that only 21% of leaders were really actively seeking ideas from anywhere and anyone in their organizations. Only 23% of survey respondents answered that it is very easy. To get support for good ideas in their firm. That germ of an idea will start with one person, but will it start at all? If you don't care about the firm and you are not engaged, well, you don't care if the mousetrap being built is better or not. Our research on the emotional triggers for high engagement show that leaders need to make their people feel valued, confident, empowered, and connected. These are all leader soft skills and depend on attitude, orientation, and communication capabilities to work. However, the numbers do not look promising. Only 27% of respondents said their manager makes them feel really valued. Just 24% strongly agree they feel empowered, and 62% said they don't feel particularly confident in their skills and abilities at work. What does the staff I feel valued environment look like down at your shop? Purpose 
is a key word in business today. Are the leaders actively promoting an emotional connection to the team's work? Are the daily tasks being linked back to the company's purpose by the leader? You might be thinking, no problem, I've got that. However, if we recorded your conversations with your staff for a full day, how much time would have been spent connecting work with purpose? By the way, does anyone think the boss waxing lyrical about shareholder value will cut it today as a defining purpose for the staff? We need a higher purpose to be communicated in order to motivate people to get out of first gear. Find out more. We come back from the break. Our show today is brought to you by our public programs, but we also do custom-made in-house classes. Now, we do them in our super safe classroom. We do them live online, and we do them in Japanese, and we do them in English. Today's show is being brought to you by, on the 3rd of August, uh, Getting Results Without Authority, on the 6th of August, Innovation, and on the 24th of August, we're doing Innovation Leadership. Our website is www.dale, D-A-L-E hyphen Carnegie, C-A-R-N-E-G-I-E dot C-O dot J-P. You can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over a thousand for you there at Tokyo, Japan, Dale Carnegie TV on YouTube. Get my best-selling books, Japan Sales Mastery, The Bible for Selling in Japan, and Japan Business Mastery, as well as my new book, Japan Presentations Mastery. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's a premier business show in Japan, comes out Mondays. Fridays, we have Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders in Japan, from SMEs all the way up to the corporate captains of industry on one topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. Don't forget, you can email me at greg.story at dalecarnegie.com Welcome back. Psychological safety is a phrase we didn't hear anything about at work until recently. Today, crusty old leaders like me have to reinvent ourselves and become more skilled at creating, coaching, and maintaining workplace psychological safety. This is not that easy. Many of us grew up in the suck it up ethos of fight or flight. If you can't take it, then leave, and we'll replace you with someone tougher who can handle the pressure. Namby, pamby whiners complaining about their lack of psychological safety are an affront to everything we did in our careers. We did it tough. We stuck it out. And eventually, we managed to climb that greasy pole to the top. Well, so what? That is not the current workplace. Times have changed, and we have to change with them. The war for talent is unending, unforgiving, and daily becoming more intense. We can't just simply throw people overboard today because replacing them will be a nightmare. We also cannot afford to ignore people with ideas and run the show like a genius prison warden who has all the answers. If the environment is considered safe for idea generation, then there is a higher willingness to take risks, such as putting forward new and original ideas. Is this the case in your firm? How many new ideas do you receive a year from the team? Are you the sole idea guru? New idea generation quality favors diversity. Group think workplaces under the steely direction of a dictator boss don't help the firm break out of mental straitjackets. I'm not like that, you say. Jolly good. But what do your hiring processes look like? What about your promotion criteria? Are there real efforts being made to favor diversity over conformity? Everyone closely observes what happens to those brave enough to venture forth with an idea. Our survey showed that 35% of workplaces were afraid 
to bring up tough issues and problems to their leaders. I would guess Japan would be even higher than that, given the risk aversion so prominent here. If the environment is like that, what are the chances of the boss being inundated with great ideas? That's right, not good. The top leadership sets the tone. What are the norms at your firm about idea generation and creativity? Only one in four of the survey respondents said they strongly agreed that people in our company value each other's unique skills, perspectives, and talents. We have to do better than this, and it starts with the bosses. So, what are you doing about driving creativity to spark product and service innovation? Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful, then share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast. Take what you found valuable. Immediately put into action because idea application is what makes winners winners. Be one of them. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy in your corner, committed to your success here in Nippon. Nippon.